Hey, welcome to part two of the pool opening. It's Rich from Problem Solved. Thanks for continuing with me, uh, picking up on part two of the opening. We left off the one suction line I have connected to the side of the pool. Um, it's the, the line that has two hoses that will, you know, basically merge into one. Um, so I'm, I'm connecting these hoses to the side of the pool without the, the strainer that goes inside the pool through this little black uh, hose um, that's sticking out of the pool. I'm connecting them just tight enough so that they stay uh, because you need to be able to reach them and you want them within arm's distance, right? So I found if I connect them to the side of the pool like this, at least I can reach them um, and it allows me to put strainers by myself um, into the hose without getting myself soaked and without water leaking out of the pool uh, all over the place. Uh, keeps the water in the pool less to, to top off. So once they're connected like that, you do want to make sure that all the, um, the locked valves are opened and make sure you have water flowing properly. So you can, I mean, water is clear generally, uh, but if you loosen this up and well, I wouldn't loosen this side up, that little small knob first. Um, if you don't hear water or air coming out of it, then it's empty, right? So I'm just double checking the strainer, um, double checking the seals um, before I fill this with water and start, uh, start up the pool. You wanna put the Vaseline on here as well. It's gonna lubricate it, keep it sealed nice uh, for the entire season. And it keeps the, the rubber from, from deteriorating um, you know, and rotting away on you. Uh, it should help preserve it for, for quite a few years. Who knows? Uh, but it's definitely worth um, at least taking the time to do this when you're opening the pool. All right, now that we have everything connected, you see what I'm talking about in the inside of the pool? It's just a plug here. You take that plug out and the water will start rushing through the tubes, see? So yeah, the tubes are filling up. I do have that valve there locked. Um, this tube also has a plug uh, on the inside of the pool. So that needs to be removed. You take that plug out and the rest of the water will rush in. Now we're filling up the two tubes here that are connected to the pool, but I have this valve locked. So that valve has to be unlocked in order for the water to flow all the way to the filter, right? So you wanna, if you're gonna start the filter up, you gotta make sure that these valves are unlocked. Uh, there's also a plug I put in the return line over the winter. So now that's out. Water will start flowing only up to this valve because the valve is still locked. Once I unlock it, uh, and again, one-handed, you know, it's loosening up and, and the whole top of it is loosening. So sometimes it's difficult to make the video um, and, and, you know, do things uh, properly, but you get the idea. So I had to just make sure that the, the whole thing didn't unscrew and I was able to just unlock the valves. With the valves unlocked, the water is flowing. Um, that's the air jet piece I was talking about earlier. Uh, there's a tiny uh, seal inside there that leaks now. Um, I got a replacement, it's only like eight, nine bucks or something through Intex. Maybe it was 11 with shipping. Uh, so it's a quick, easy fix for that. This um, valve, once that's unlocked and opened, now the water is all flowing and you could hear it, see it, it's going to the filter and we're in good shape at this point the only thing is remember there's two um like filter type uh plastic grates called the strainers but those go inside the pool on the suction lines um that's the piece that's missing so what i did was i locked the the valve and i put those in um myself while I, I couldn't video it, but I needed two hands. You have to hold the hose and put the, the piece in from the inside of the pool while you're loosening up that, that hose. Um, because you can't just connect the two with the hose tight 
uh, you know, the hose clamp tightened to the, to the pool. It has to be loosened up in order to do it. Um, what we're looking at here is the, the, the water still flowing into the filter. It's got uh, quite a few gallons, I guess, have to fill up into the, into the sand filter. Um, so I waited until I really wasn't hearing um, anything else, any more uh, water flowing. Um, and then I locked the valve. I locked the valve back up so I can connect the strainers that go inside the pool on these uh, suction lines. And so I'm going to show you what I did, um, how I did it, try and explain it. Um, but I couldn't video me actually doing it. So here's the lines. Those are the suction lines. And I'll show you in a second inside these are the strainers that go inside the pool so the line has to go in there um, the, those those go from the inside of the pool sticking out right and then this line has to go on top uh, on the black piece that sticks out and tighten to it uh, so they all tie together I had to put this piece that we're looking at right here on the inside of the pool and then loosen the hose clamp with with my fingers I left the finger tight Loosen that hose clamp up and then push the hose onto the whole um, apparatus. Then I was able to tighten the hose clamp and, and um, you know, finish it off. I did the same thing with this side. I uh, left that about hand tight. Um, and then the one of the strainers that goes on the inside of the pool and put that through the hole uh, while this valve was locked. Uh, and I was able to tighten everything up, unlock it, and there was no leak. So um, it's not ideal. Two people would be easier and better. But for us, for me, it worked. Um, once that's set like that, you're ready, ready to go. Double check all valves. Make sure you're on filter uh, for the valve, the main valve on the actual filter. And uh, you can go ahead and hit the power button. And uh, you should be good to go and enjoy. Well, thanks for watching. This was, again, the opening of the pool first year after uh, winter closing. First time doing it with this pool. Um, all in all, it went well. I'm pretty happy. The pool was crystal clear. I think I have videos of that. I'll post that up next. I uh, just really we needed to get this done. It's about two weeks in now since I actually did this. Maybe even third week. Uh, life gets busy. I really apologize. But uh, all is well. Um, and I'm real happy we even got to swim in the pool already. So last part, don't forget your chlorine. I always keep a block or two, depending on the price of chlorine. Of course, this year has gone up again, of course, and the uh, shortage is coming. So one or two uh, of these three inch uh, chlorine tabs, put them in your floating uh, strainer and uh, you should be good to go. I have another video I'm going to upload. Um, actually checking the levels, getting your pool started. So this gets you started, but you, you're basically supposed to shock the pool first, uh, first opening from what I understand. Uh, you could see by the way it looked, it was a little cloudy. I'll pick that up again on another video. So you definitely want to comment, like, subscribe, and stay tuned for the next one.